guys, what's going on? It's Ash here coming at you today in Clash Royale. Today, I am joined by Yugi. Let's tell him thanks and uh, say get ready to go. I'm ready to go. This is the deck that we're going to be talking about today, guys. It is a really, really solid new golem deck in the game right now. And it feels like it's really more about these three cards than it is the golem. It's more about the Ice Wiz, the Tombstone, and the NATO. This three-card combo is taking over the game. We're, we're already inside a Grand Challenge right now. We're doing this one live again again for you guys. I think about 70% of you in my last community tab poll voted to go ahead and have more live ladder matches, but there's still 30% of you who like grand challenge matches, so I still want to make sure I include both on the channel, but thank you so much for your continued feedback, guys. I really, really appreciate it. We're doing almost all live matches except for the impossible challenge, which will be returning this week. In this match so far, we're about uh, 50 second, 45 seconds in or so, and no one's made a first place, so maybe they're both playing a golem deck maybe they're both playing some sort of a beatdown deck we'll have to wait and see but it does give me an opportunity to talk a little bit about that three card combo and how it is in my opinion at least it's the strongest combo three card combo in the entire game maybe ever i don't want to be too hyperbolic here but it's crazy how effective tombstone nato and ice whiz are defensively and even the fact that we're seeing it in a beatdown deck right now just goes to show you definitely an unorthodox combo to put into a beatdown deck now who is Yugi Art as we get into it? Looks like this one's going to go all the way to the, the final minute before they make their first play, which actually gives me time to, to give kind of an intro to set the table for you guys. Yugi Art actually showed up. The number one question I get from you guys is how to become a pro, how to get recognized as a really good player. Listen to the story of Yugi Art. He showed up to King's Cup 2 in Atlanta. He saved up money. As soon as he found out about it, he saved up money with his older brother, and they bought a flight from New York, I believe, to Atlanta. The day of, they just show up there off the street, just average, random players. He said he was intimidated once he saw, and it is going against the Golem deck here. He said he was very intimidated when he saw all the YouTubers and the pros, and he thought to himself, do I even belong here? Well, Yugi Art went on to finish number one going into the draft uh, in King's Cup 2, going into the second day. He finished above everybody, even the pros in the audience. And then later, he became a pro himself. He was in CRL Asia, playing for Chaos Theory, living in Taiwan, traveling to Japan and to China. It was just really, really cool story of Yu-Gi-Oh! Art. So I just wanted to share that with you guys. And uh, right now, I believe he is a free agent again. So maybe any uh, CRL team out there, or any team looking out there to contract a guy who has that live stage experience, definitely look into Yu-Gi-Oh! Art, a great guy too. Anyway, back to the deck here, guys. It's Golem versus Golem, and, and that actually illustrates the point I'm trying to make here on that three-card combo beautifully, right? You're leaning on three of the strongest defensive cards in the game. A lot of player people think that Tombstone is the strongest card in the game. Very low-key strong card. I think it's probably been a long time since a defensive card or a spawner card, a building has been considered this strong. And just, you're seeing it right now, the synergy between the Ice Wiz and the Tombstone. Then you have the NATO. You just have such a controlled dynamic to your deck where you can defend anything against any deck pretty much with those three cards. Maybe the only exception being Siege, which is actually probably one of the archetypes that isn't in an amazing spot right now. Expo more than Mortar, of course. But anyway, the reason I said this matchup here illustrates the power of this deck, and we're not sure yet. Yugi does have the, uh, uh, well, a pretty big advantage here, and he's just going to reload with this Golem is that the difference between these two decks is Yugi always has that tombstone that he can use to distract the opponent's golem. And as long as he can go ahead and use, look at that offensive NATO, beautifully pulling everything right into the tower. And that's going to be a first match victory there for Yugi Art. He is now 10-1. So hopefully this will be a quick video, just two more matches, and uh, we'll see how Yugi does here. So let's go ahead and stay on the screen. If the wait is too long, I will go ahead and edit things out here. But just back one more time on the combo, on the on the three card combo, then we'll just stick to play by play uh, from here on out, guys. But think about it, right? Against a, a graveyard deck, you got it covered, right? Now, Ice Wiz can one shot uh, skeletons now after the buff he received a couple balance day, uh, uh, updates ago, and now he has the longer freeze duration as well. Uh, Tombstone just seems to be as much, you know, as 
as versatile as any other defensive unit in the game, I think right now, maybe even more so, and then the NATO added to it. NATO is another polarizing card. Maybe you have to edit out here, but we'll see. We'll give it another 20 seconds or so, and then we'll edit. Uh, but NATO just, uh, oh, there it is. Perfect. So, all, all NATO does, guys, is, is again, kind of give you one of the strongest defensive options in the game. When you pair that with the Tombstone, you're looking good against anything. That's why we see it in Graveyard decks. That's where it first appeared in Graveyard decks. Then we started seeing it add to more and more unorthodox decks, such as now it's even evolved into Beatdown, Minor Control, and other deck archetypes. I even saw a Lava Loon player running the, that three-card combo, believe it or not, in a 12-win Grand Challenge a day or two ago so yeah it's 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 everywhere and it's super strong does it need to be nerfed i don't know the answer to that question what would you do nerf ice Wiz or nerf tombstone or nerf nato i don't feel like any of the cards individually need a nerf but i will do a balance update wish list video tomorrow and let you guys know which cards i do think needs nerfs and buffs anyway guys we're going against the kyo kyo sparky deck it's Sparky Giant, uh, has Skarmy in there as well, and uh, I forget what the last card is, but maybe Bats, maybe another uh, Zap 8 card. Either way, we'll, we'll see in a bit, but it can be a challenging matchup, especially for a Golem deck here. So, another deck, by the way, that we're going against right uh, right now, that probably could stand to benefit from... Uh, from the Ice Wiz or, or, or from the the, uh, the NATO. It just, it's just so strong defensively. And let's see how Yugi handles this matchup here, guys. He goes in with the Golem. He's going against, there's the Skarmy there. We talked about it. But we have plenty of Splash with the Baby Dragon, with the NATO, and with the Ice Wiz. And, of course, we do have the uh, Barbarian Barrel again. Now, if you guys don't have the Bar Barrel, of course, obviously... Sub in the log if you want to. You can also sub in the zap, which will give you another reset spell in this deck. Of course, Fireball also can reset as well. So here we go. It's going to be a Sparky Giant push coming down the left lane. We have those skeletons doing a really good job distracting Sparky. And you're linking maybe, what, one, two elixir here? I guess he wanted that tombstone to die first. The Fireball comes down. That's going to I'll go ahead and take down all of those support troops along with the bats uh, left over from the Night Witch there. So a really nice defensive sequence for Yugi as we are about 15, 20 seconds now into uh, double elixir time. We're going to set up with a tombstone again. You know, when you don't know what to do with this deck, guys, just set up with a tombstone. You already have a tombstone down. Go ahead and just play an Ice Wiz in the back. You really can't go wrong with those two plays. So here we go again. Baby Dragon getting a lot of work done. Here comes the Goblin Barrel. He need the opponent here. You can see how frustrated they might be. You know, they had to get that tombstone down, but we have the NATO ready even if they did. Now we're going to get a nice offensive push here. Sparky takes care of the Ice Wiz, but we have another one right back there at the bridge. And then again, getting that Golem death damage, just so much damage from that Golem when he dies on the tower, guys. Already down to 820. And we haven't had any, like, real monster pushes there. Bar Barrel at the ready. There it is. Ca catches the Juke Barrel very nicely. The Giant doesn't even get to the tombstone. We have two Sparkies coming, though. We're going to make sure we stack up these Baby Dragons. Of course, Baby Dragon being our only real pure air card along with all those bats in this deck. A good fireball opportunity here. Let's see if he takes it. He's just going to go ahead and NATO, try to get some Baby Dragon of value there. And instead, he's going to save that fireball and reload with a tombstone behind the King Tower. This is a very, very uh, underused in pro tombstone placement here. The reason he's using the tombstone here is to free up the Barbarian Barrel against Skarmy in this deck. And that's something that you guys can do as well. You can place that Tombstone. It's going to help defend against Graveyard. It's also going to help defend against Goblin Barrel. And here it goes. This is a perfect opportunity. Is he going to... Yeah, he's going to... So you can... Obviously, he's still going to take some damage from that Goblin Barrel. But he can essentially use the Skeletons from that Tombstone and then go ahead and deploy the Golem right at the bridge there. There's nothing the opponent can do to stop this. There's nothing. Now he has that freed up Bar Barrel like we just talked about to use against the Skarmy. And there's nothing stopping that Golem there fireball comes down doesn't even need it and that's two quick and easy and decisive victories for yugi art guys very very well played there so now it might be a one match video i don't want to say i'm hoping for the loss here guys but i'd like to see more than one extra match maybe i'll just start let me ask you this guys honestly would you watch a video 
if it was an entire grand challenge by, you know, a big name pro player, like from one to 12, probably like a 45 minute video. Would you like that? Of course, if you didn't want to watch the whole video, you could just fast forward to the final matches. Anyway, I thought about doing that maybe as a once a week series. And here we go. We're already into the, this could be the last match here. So let's go in my, my device. Hello. All right. <laughs> Come on, man. I don't know what's going on, on my iPad lately. It's like not letting me uh, tap. Anyway, we're in the match. So let me know in the comments, guys. Would you like to see that? I'm kind of thinking I might try it out. I, I don't think a lot of people will click on a 45 minute or an hour long Clash Royale video. But you know what? What's wrong with experimentation? What's, long with, what's wrong with giving it a try? An Inferno Dragon and a Mega Minion to start out with here from the opponent. The name of his uh, clan is 12 wins with Graveyard. <laughs> so... I'm gonna I'm gonna go out on a limb here and say that he might be rocking a graveyard deck. We have a bar barrel and a miner coming down the left lane. It looks like Yugi's gonna go ahead and ignore it all, seeing as how the Inferno Dragon is out of rotation, gonna try to punish here. The opponent has a tombstone of their own and double dragon. Wow, this is kind of a funky deck here played by the opponent. Inferno Dragon already cycled back to. Uh, Yugi's going to go ahead and NATO. Make sure he at least captures the death uh, damage there. And then we have that Ice Wizard going to work on the dragons in the back from the bridge there. So we did get a lot of damage, but not as much as just that solo Barbarian uh, along with, or excuse me, the solo Miner along with the Barbarian from the Bar Barrel got on our left tower. So it's 973 damage on Yugi's left tower. 1415 damage on the opponent's right tower here as we're about 30 seconds away from double elixir time so there it is again that defensive tombstone that we talked about earlier that's going to do a good job defending this left lane and uh, he can send in the miner but of course the skeletons will do a good job defensively against the miner as well so it's a nice defensive placement forcing the opponent to have to use their fire but their big spell or just ignore that tower so here we go in the right lane it's going to be a night witch and the golem in the right and then there it is we expected it the inferno dragon i wonder if he'll go double dragon on us again we go ahead there it is the double dragon gonna take care of all those bats spawned by the night witch we reload with the baby dragon of our own but that uh, that one mega minion and that one barbarian gonna do a good job of kind of shutting down this push really preventing us from getting the type of damage that yugi definitely wanted on that right tower down to 838 right now so we are in the lead here guys let's see what yugi does here with about 30 seconds oh there it is the last card man how could i have not known this is a royal giant deck it just totally was isn't obvious to me from the get-go. I don't think I've seen this exact Royal Giant deck yet before, but that might be GG right there with that Royal, the surprise Royal Giant at the end. Only 20 seconds. Yugi forced here to drop a golem at the bridge. Definitely not what he wants to do going into the Tombstone and the Inferno Dragon. Again, showing the power of Tombstone. And Yugi unloads the, uh, the piggy emotes. The death damage does get to that tower there, but the Tombstone placed by the opponent, that's going to be GG. And this is going to be a true grand challenge we're gonna be 11 and 2 heading into the final match of course i will bring it to you guys win or loss so let's see what yugi can find here in the in the uh the, the final match either way win or loss and we're already in it here we go we are already in it, guys. So no editing. I am Eds. Yugi not happy coming off that loss on that last match here. And here we go. It's going to be Lava Loon or Lava Double Dragon, maybe. Lava Miner. We'll see what it is. But either way, Ash, what about Lava Loon? I got you covered this video. I got you covered. Here we go. It's going to be an Ice Wizard in the left lane against that Lava Hound. So this will be a good template for you guys how to handle a, a Lava Loon matchup. And that Miner, I don't know about that Miner placement, guys. That's going to allow a King Tower activation of course the opponent there wanting to get that miner on the ice whiz he does so but not before yugi or or actually yugi was able to respond and uh, go ahead and activate that king tower which will help him out a little bit but it, of course it's against a we don't know yet it, it's a, definitely an off meta lava hound deck so we don't know if it has balloon either way it's uh it's definitely not never a bad thing to activate your king tower but he does have it looks like it's a lava double dragon deck guys and i shared this on the channel 
really, really recently. It's super strong. I think it was, yeah, QW playing this live at Top Ladder. I'll link that video if you guys want something to watch after this one. I'll link it in the description for you guys. And here we go into the tombstone there, the Inferno Dragon. Just absolutely, absolutely uh, killing this push here single-handedly. I guess a little help from that Royal Ghost as well. Now, the, uh, the Baby Dragon does get one kind of fiery breath onto that left tower. But now we have to deal with this annoying push here. We bar barrel in the back. Things aren't looking so hot here early on of course this deck can be a pain uh with the inferno dragon version of this deck and all oh, that zap came in just a second too late and the king tower activation definitely did help in that scenario mitigating the damage done by that miner there on the left tower and now yugi can reload did you see the zap from the opponent there guys he was trying to get that tower to retarget away from the inferno dragon onto the miner but just a second too late the inferno dragon was already dead and now the Night Witch way in the back there. That's a good Night Witch play, guys. Gonna allow her to spawn even more bats. Of course, the opponent, I think they have Baby Dragon as their last card. No? We'll see, I guess. Poison is down. Let's see what they have. Okay, minions. So it's not the double dragon deck. It's a little bit different. But either way, it looks like Yugi's going to take this left tower or get really, really close to it. The Golemite's doing some work. Meanwhile, on defense, again, that defensive tombstone setup that we talked about, guys. Just doing some work, helping out, spawning those skeletons. Baby dragon goes down. We have the ice wizard as well. We still have NATO in hand. Plenty of tools at the disposal of Yugi Arten. That golem there is not really meant to take down the tower. The golem is just meant to clog up the lane with five seconds left here. Yugi is going to pick up this victory and complete the grand challenge live for us guys. Well done, Yugi. I, I was, I'm glad. I'm glad he won that last one. Never a good thing to lose and end on a big L there, but really, really enjoyed this video, and hopefully this helped to illustrate the power of those three cards, guys. What do you think? Is there a stronger three-card combo in the game than Tombstone, Ice Wiz, and NATO, especially, especially defensively oriented what is stronger what is a more control combo than that let me know if you have one in the comments below guys i want to thank you for watching all the way till the end check out yugi arts player stats and profile thanks to statsreal.com a partner here on the channel and of course a big shout out to my youtube partner bren chong check out his information as well guys thank you so much for watching and as always take care guys